fantasy sports. I've told you guys, I told you guys last night, I don't get them, I don't participate in them, but I came this close this season to joining a fantasy league because, uh, because of the hook on what happens to the winners and losers. And uh, we're joined by Paul Charchian from Fantasy Victory. Hey, how's it going, Paul? Uh, it's going great. And we always want guys like you in our leagues because you're easy money. Yeah. Right. Yes. And that's what these guys wanted. It's called, I guess they're calling it a tattoo league. Oh. The winner of the season gets to pick any tattoo to put on the loser. Of oh, the any fantasy. So you mean anything, anywhere, any tattoo? And it can't be on the face and it can't be offensive. All right, so you can't put like a replica of, of Dan's junk on your face. Right, no, Dan, no. Okay. Right, you couldn't do but You, you would can't be do able this to right it. here? Come on. Can you imagine? <laughs> like if I, if I lost the fantasy league and had to put that like on my chest or something like that? That would be bad. How about, you know, I, you, know it, it, you could humiliate though. You could put well, like my pretty pony. You know, running up some guy's chest. That, uh, well, that would be pretty bad. I know they're all going back and forth, and, uh, back and forth with the the Justin Bieber threat. The Justin, that is a that, big threat. That's right the there. big threat. Imagine yeah. you lose your fantasy football league, yeah. and now for the rest of your life you have to have Justin, Justin Bieber, Bieber on your arm. So, you can never take it off. You gotta <laughs> have it forever. Paul, let me explain something. This is the guy that has left arm written on his left arm yeah. in Japanese. No, I have, I, I, I'm not. I'm not averse to putting stupid stuff on myself. So why don't you do it? But just, no, I'm not doing it. See, he came this close to convincing me. Yeah. And then I went home and my wife was like, you're not putting Justin Bieber on you. I don't care for those. Or some fantasy football league. So I, fantasy I know, sports. I know another league that the winner gets to send the loser to their location of the winner's choice anywhere in the U.S. on Super Bowl Sunday. And this, wow. is a, this is a Washington, D.C.-based league. And so one year they sent a guy to International Falls. <laughs> on Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> so, yeah. How about that? That's not quite as bad as the tattoo. All right, so the folks here in the office were losing their minds yesterday. It was draft day here in our yeah. building. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I had the best draft in the whole thing. You think oh, so? Of course. Uh, I have yeah. awesome players. Well, why don't you, uh, why don't you go ahead and we'll, yeah, uh, we'll critique you take? your draft. Well, I don't even remember who I took, but I just know it was awesome. You got Tebow. I, I know I, I yeah I did take Tim Tebow. You took Tim Tebow. Yeah, that's uh, that's great. Third string quarterbacks on your team. He, okay, let, <laughs> yeah. okay. You First will off, you will need a religious intervention of some kind to get points here, out of him. Paul Charchin, little yes. Mister Expert. <laughs> we were one ACL away yesterday from having. Yep. Tim Tebow starting quarterback and throwing 40 touchdowns. Yeah, for 20 minutes when uh, when Tom Brady went down, crumpled in practice, right. you were looking really smart. I was. And it happened to be that you were on the clock in those 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I get that. So Don't uh, don't worry about my team. So we, awesome. got a, we got a couple of videos uh, from uh, people with questions. Why don't you go ahead and roll that first one. Hey, Charge. Uh, I got a fantasy question for you. Um, I have a friend who is so infatuated with Joe Webb, he says he's actually going to draft him for his fantasy football team this year. Um, besides Joe Webb, I always love to have Vikings on my team. So who would you say is the best Vikings fantasy option not named Adrian Peterson? Uh, well, funny he's asking for his friend. Right. Yeah, it's always, it's always, Joe it's always a friend. Right. Yeah, exactly. Especially if they like Joe Webb, it's always a friend. At least yeah. I, came, I wouldn't admit it either. <laughs> at least I came out and said I drafted Tim Tebow. What? <laughs> exactly. Brave enough to do that. So what should if he you, tell his friend? Adrian Peterson's the first pick in every draft, so he's a little too obvious. Uh, Kyle Rudolph's a top five tight end. He's a guy you could certainly use, but a little deeper in your draft. Core Daryl Patterson. This guy is special. You know, we've already, we've only we're only one preseason game in. He looks like a difference maker and a guy that's going to do some special things when when he gets the ball. I don't know if he starts or not in, in week one, but at some point, they're just going to have to find ways to get him the do ball. You, so, a guy you can draft late. Do you really think that any Vikings wide receivers are going to be good this year with their state of our quarterbacks? Well, yeah, Greg Jennings. I mean, Percy Harvin was really good last year with, with Christian Ponder, you know, as a second-year guy. Now he's a third-year guy. Ponder should be better, and Greg Jennings absolutely draft him. All right, uh, we have one more question. All right. Hey guys, my name is Emily and um, I have a question for you. So I'm a girl, I don't know all of the players' names or anything, but I really want to play fantasy football. Um, so can you give me any tips or advice on how to go about doing that? Thanks. All right, Emily. Are, 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 are hot girls play. allowed to play fantasy yes. football? Yes, draft uh, Tim <laughs> Tebow. Better than that. Yeah, there's draft your tip right Tim there. Tebow. There's your tip. Uh, I, gotta, I could drum up about 1,000 guys willing to play in the fantasy football league with Emily, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the best tip that I have, one, is go to fantasyvictory.com. Look for our cheat sheets. You've got all the, all the right player values. You know who to take when. And then if you can spare 90 minutes of prep time, do a mock draft. Go to ESPN or Yahoo or any place that has a mock draft. And go through one draft beforehand so that when you're drafting for real, it's not the first time you've ever done it. 
they have drafts that start all the time with other people on the internet, and you, you go play out one draft. So you all get right, a little sense of what's going on. Charge, one last question before we let you go. Yeah. Give us the one sleeper of the year. The one sleeper of the year. All right, if there's, if there's one guy that, that I, I think you can get late in your draft that's really going to help your league, the guy I'm working on right now, Golden Tate is a wide receiver in Seattle. Percy Harvin went out there, and then he went belly up on the hip. I was so he's mad. Out until, so, he's out until Thanksgiving, I so think this guy fills in. Our executive producer, Seth Kaplan, took him right before I was about to uh, take him oh, yesterday. Oh, yeah, I was going to take God. him. Sure you were. <laughs> I yeah, was. Yeah. <laughs> all, right, all, right. all right. Paul Charchi, and thank you so much for joining My us. Pleasure. Fantasy premieres, uh, Fantasy Victory premieres August 23rd at 10.35 p.m. Correct. Thanks, The TV man. version does it just then.